This channel is part of the History Hit Network. China overtakes the U.S. America has to live with the China that exists. Is China the future? Yangshu 这是马可·波罗的故事。但他从这里开始。这是这里开始。这是这里开始。这是这里开始。这是这里开始。这是这里开始。这是这里开始。这是这里开始。这是这里开始。这是这里开始。这是这里开始。这是这里开始。这是这
Noi di solito quando pensiamo a Marco Polo abbiamo in mente le immagini di Marco Polo da vecchio, un vecchio con la barba bianca, eccetera. In realtà ma il Marco Polo che va in Cina è un ragazzo, è un ragazzo che ha fra i 17 e i 20 anni, è il primo ad avere descritto in modo, in modo interessante da leggere e, e consistente e cospicuo eh, della Cina e tutto quello che è seguito prende lo spunto da questa, da questa rappresentazione. History Hit is like Netflix, just for history fans. With exclusive history documentaries covering some of the most famous people and events in history, just for you. With familiar faces such as Dan Jones and Dr. Eleanor Yanega, we've got hundreds of documentaries covering the greatest figures and events of medieval history. We're committed to bringing history fans award-winning documentaries and podcasts that you cannot find anywhere else. Sign up now for a free trial and Chronicle fans get 50% off their first three months. Just be sure to use the code CHRONICLE at checkout. If Marco Polo were alive today, who would he be? Maybe a student. A young man from northern Italy. From Venice. Hoshi Ju Xiang Jiang. What's high? Signori, imperatori e re. Tutti coloro che desiderano sapere le diversità delle altre regioni del mondo e i regni e le province dell'est. Prendete questo libro e troverete una delle grandissime meraviglie del mondo. Siccome Marco Polo, savio e nobile cittadino di Vinegia, le conta. Marco Polo was 17 in 1271 and the world was at war. In the Middle East, the 200-year-old war between Christians and Muslims for control of the Holy Land was approaching a brutal end. But the greatest threat confronting Marco Polo's world came from the East. The Mongols, in the space of a lifetime, had descended from the Asian grasslands to create the greatest land empire ever seen. Samarkand, Balkh, Moscow 1238, Kiev 1240, all the way to the gates of Vienna. Only a Muslim army had managed to stop them near Jerusalem in 1260, but the Mongols would be back. Like many Venetian merchants, Marco Polo's father and uncle had traveled to the east before. Now they were returning to the Mongol emperor, Kublai Khan. This time, they were taking Marco with them. They sailed east from Venice towards the Holy Land, Acre. Inside the walls, the city was still hanging on as a hub of Venice's trading empire. Outside the walls, Muslim armies were biding their time. After eight crusades, 
Acre was disputed territory, and Marco Polo had arrived in medieval Europe's last toehold on the continent of Asia. Today, Acre is part of Israel. It's still a divided city, split between history's winners and history's losers. In the Rayad Cafe, you'll find those who are defying history, like activist Sami Hawali. <coughs> Akka used to be one of the centers of the world. <laughs> Nations, armies occupied Akka and went. The Ottomans stayed here for 400 years, but in the end they went. The Crusaders also came and, and went after 200 uh, and years. All the conquerors, they are like Marco Polo. Marco Polo came and went. And we stayed here. We are always between two wars. East and West, Crusader and Arab, Jews and Muslims. The fault lines run through the Middle East like a sparking wire on a circuit board. Religion, ideology, fanaticism, imperial ambition, all the conditions of war have existed here in concentrated form for thousands of years. Like all wars, conflict provides opportunities for business. And it was in the Holy Land that Marco Polo began to learn his trade. But it was more than business that brought the Polos to Acre. They headed for the Venetian quarter near the harbor. It's said that this was a hostel for Venetian travelers in Marco Polo's time. This is where people of high rank were thrown together with pilgrims and commercial travelers. Among the guests was Theobaldo Visconti, a papal envoy who had dealings with the Polo family. Visconti had an unusual distinction. He had just been elected pope. Now the Polo's journey took on a new complexion. Una volta ad Acri, procedemmo alla presenza del Papa e portamogli rispetto. Egli ci ricevette con grande onore e compiacimento e ci diede la sua benedizione. Benissimo, Eli. Marco Polo. Acca canat mahatta mohemmi. Yusel, il hau del bahre l'abbiadum e tawasset, ma dahil il yabsi, il umk il asiawi. Marco Polo is the early colonialism of Europe. They knew that uh, they are coming to see the barbarians, maybe, maybe to see the heretics. Marco Polo can imagine the Gulf, and he was looking at the Shari from above. He saw the Shari Dune. He saw the superior. Kalai,他在此地不是英雄,人们甚至不信任他,但这个平凡的年轻人却如此重要。为什么普洛伊家婚姻及蒙古可汗的注意呢?他们不是威尼斯最富有的人。也没有人说他们智慧超凡。那么也许不是他们知识渊博,而是他们神通广大。
他们有充分的理由结盟来对抗强大的穆斯林。Marco Polo was being drawn into a mission impossible, accepting letters from the Pope to the Great Khan. Truly miraculous if they pulled it off. But first, there was a task to fulfill in Jerusalem. Holy Sepulchre, the site of Christ's crucifixion, the place where Jesus was buried. For a Christian, the center of the world. Marco Polo's father had promised the Great Khan oil from the tomb of Jesus. A gesture from the kingdom of heaven to the most powerful man on earth, and in 1271, the son came to keep the father's promise. Jerusalem, Marco Polo went north through the port of Ayas, and then turned east through southern Turkey and Armenia. This was territory largely already overrun by the Mongols. Not the most direct route, but the safest. For travelers from the west, the art of travel meant avoiding war. Not easy then. Not easy now. L'anno domini 1258, lo grande signore dei mongoli del sollevante ragunò grande oste di cavalleria e fanteria e attaccò il califfo nella città di Baudak. The caliph al-Mustasim, the ruler in Baghdad, refused to bow before the overwhelming threat of the huge Mongol army with its frightening array of modern weaponry. The siege lasted just seven days. Finalmente la presero con forza. E questo fu il grande fatto. The devastation of a whole country. A country more than 7,000 years old. They destroyed it within two weeks. Sheer naked power and aggression. Baghdad was again sacked. was cruelty, the inhumanity. 
and they devastate the people. They turn them into wild human beings, deprived of their humanity. Huashin 在蒙古铁蹄的蹂躏下哭泣。Isan Fetti was an architectural historian who had made a photographic record of the buildings of old Baghdad. Since the American-led invasion of 2003, he has seen his country descend into sectarian war. He is now one of thousands of Iraqis exiled in Jordan. Had I stayed, I would have been either killed or kidnapped. Something horrible would have happened to me. Within a few years, nothing remains of old Baghdad. I cannot associate my past memories with, with the present. It's not Baghdad that I knew. People live with terror. It's a terrified city. And then I saw the sign with my eyes to the closest person I have, meaning my friends who are closest. Even in, in its worst days in history, it has never been like this. Rugo 我了,我了,我了,我了,我了,我了,我了,我了,我了,我了,我了,我了,我了,我了,我了,我了,我了,我了,我了,我了,我了,我了,我了,我了,我了,我了,我了,我了,我了,我了,我了,我了,我了,我
but as his journey takes him to modern-day Iran, he enters a territory already controlled by the Mongol Empire. Marco travels through Tabriz, Yaz, and Kerman. The road is hard. Questo piano dura per cinque giornate. Il percorso è infausto e periglioso. Avi molti uomini che rubano e tanti brutti ceffi. It is in the heat and dust of southern Iran that we find real roads traveled by Marco Polo. The excitement of the hunt. Shabar Matan. Matan? Matan. Iranian scholars, Professor Vosugi and Mr. Rezaei, think they picked up on the scent of Marco Polo. Professor Vasugi and his friend Mr. Rezaei have a simple idea. Find the right road and you might find the right man. You track him in the towns, in the rivers, down the tracks. You look for him in the market. You look for him in the eyes that looked at him. The town is Mina, the biggest in the region in Marco Polo's time. Darchi. His name in the Persian is Darchi. Dar means the wood, and Chin, Chin, the, the wood of China, Darchi. I mercatanti vengono d'India, carichi di spezie e pietre preziose, perle, drappi di seta e d'oro e denti di leofanti. Marco Polo è un nocteiro zarissimo, 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 che vendono ai mercanti di Ormoz, che a loro volta vendono per tutto lo mondo. Urugini nist amo. In che chi ne veste mo ne vi duni mo. Marco Polo tosif e cinesh irani. For example, the name of the city of China. The Persian version, not the Chinese version, for example. The name of Chuenjo, Chuenjo in Chinese. But Marco mentioned Zeytun. Zeytun, the Persian name of Chuenjo. In ke irani neveshte? Na, na in tori nist. دلیلش اینه که مارکو در کاروانی که با شرکت کرده بخش عمده از همراهانش ایرانی هستن و معلومه که اطلاعات رو از کی میگیره از ایرانی ها چون اون دوره ایرانی ها در چین هم هستن حضور دارن مارکو یه بو بو شنچن Wenny 
正要开始未知的第一次迁徙。他们是怎么说的？东方是西方展示他们无穷幻想的舞台。当你启程时，在地图上，威尼斯是世界的中心。你走得越远，离所谓怪物越近。The road east led to all the places of Christian Europe's wildest imaginings. Medieval maps even placed paradise here, a real place on Earth. Not finding paradise here challenged the Christian story. But then. Marco Polo also failed to find any monstrous races. Marco Polo, you walk on the edge of the modern and ancient world. You don't look like your previous adventurers. People who record the ears of the cow, 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 the ears of the cow. از اینکه این کوروبوری این من هر صبح میام یک نشاطی به خودم میارم. من ازش دلگرمم. در توان خودم ازش سیانت میکنم. در حد توان همیشه دوستش دارم. از همساده ها نزدیکتره. همساده شاید یه روزی همراه نقل بکنه. نقل مکان بکنه. ولی این من جایی نرم این ثابت و همیشه به جاست. The castle of Alamut. It was here, according to Marco Polo, that in the 11th century, Hassan Saba, the old man of the mountains, ruled over a cult of drugged and fanatical followers, known and feared throughout the world as the Assassins. Il veglio era seguace di Malcometto, ed egli aveva una udita crudeltà che avrebbe trasformato uomini in assassini. Egli avrebbe ucciso chi che sia voleva ed essere temuto da tutti. Va bene, ma non ho detto che in giro voglio che io mi abbia a lavorare. Ho detto che non c'è niente di questo che non è stato fatto. 
فکر میکردیم دیگه هیچ هیچی نیست Archaeologist Dr. Hamida Chubak has been working at Alamut for 10 years. وقتی ما این دیوارهای آجوری و با این تزینات معماری دیدیم شگفت زده شدیم. این اثر بسیار ارزنده و بسیار ارزشمندی که حالا در نوشته مارکو پولو می داده میشه که و این همون کاختجی که حالا شاید در متون ازش یه جوری یاد شده Il veglio ha fatto di una valle delle montagne, trasformate nello più bello giardino che il mondo avesse mai visto. Con vino che scorre in abbondanza e le donzelle più belle del mondo. Perché lo veglio voleva far credere alle sue genti che quello fosse in realtà lo paradiso. Shanzhong Lauren de Shangu Huayuan. 比道理人的故事更惊人。马可，你找到的不是伊甸园，而是一个虚假的天堂。它让纯真的男孩变成暗杀者。你说，山中老人给他们一种药，让他们尝到了天堂的滋味。Quando lo veglio vuole un principe assassinato, così dice ai suoi donzelli. Va fa co tale cosa, e quando ritornate, i miei angeli vi faranno tornare in paradiso. Questa è una storia perfetta, davvero perfetta, Marco. Ma solo se vieni da un'altra parte, puoi pensare così. نه مارکو بلو برای لیه از این سبا گفته که چه کارهایی میکرده و اینا این سازگار نیست جور در نمیاد شجه شان می او تین جن در لیشنگ جا نیه او چون جی شاو نی در گوش دای لای در ایم شان جی دو تو نیم جن در ای دین یون和穆斯林危险的天堂，马可，你把天堂变成了战场。因为在阿比奥米加，他们还有在那里，白眼和白眼，他们有，他们。در علیه ایران هزار دسیسایی هست. مثل یک شکارچی هستم. کارگاهی که یک صحنه رو میتونه کش کنه. و این داده ها و اطلاعات رو با هم جمع مواری کنه. و بگه چه اتفاقاتی افتاده از این تیکای پروکنده. بخشی از حقایق تاریخی رو روشن کنیم اون باقایی که ازش در کتاب مارکوپولو نام برده شده در واقع ما هنوز پیدا نکردیم No one has ever found the garden of paradise No one has found evidence of hashish Dr. Chubak's excavations of Alamut revealed a sophisticated center of learning A library An observatory a mosque built deep into the rock. A picture of the old man of the mountains and his successors as enlightened rulers. و کل علامت یک جنبه تقدس و الهی برایش منظور میشه کرد. حسن سبب در این زیاد زندگی میکرد و حسن سبب انقدر لیاقت داشت که لقب خداوندی رو کسب کرد. در واقع برخورد دو تمدن هست در این جنگ صلیبی با گرفتن پول و زمین 
وارد این جنگ شدن یعنی بهشون کشیشا قول این دادن که شما که وارد این جنگ صلیبی میشین صاحب زمین صاحب قلعه میشین صاحب پول میدین و حتی پول میدادن وارد این جنگ میشدن برابر این با اون نگاه مادی شاید من بگم حالا که من چون یه شرقی هستم نه من دروغ میدونم همه منطقه دروغ میدونم Nobody denies that there were assassins at Alamut. No one pretends they expected to return from their missions alive. They killed and died not only for what they believed in. What they believed in was martyrdom itself. <laughs> شرقی بخواد این کار بکنه این نهادی نست در فرهنگ شرق که به خاطر عقاید و عقایدش و باورهاش حتی جان خودشو فدا بکنه روایت از زبان دشمنان هست و زبان دشمنان همینطوری این گسترش پیدا کرده By 1256 the assassins were finally defeated by the Mongols after overcoming the fiercest resistance they faced on their march westwards. Alamut Castle was taken. The famous library and observatory were destroyed. The secrets of the assassins of Alamut were lost in the ruins. این ماییم که میایی ما میریم چنده این چند ست سلاتین افرادای بزرگ افرادای کوچیک همه از بین میره ما صحنه مثل بازیگر رو صحنه میایی ما میریم و دنیا به جا میمونه اونی که دنیا اونی که به جا میمونه دنیاست دنیا که بلعم یک گوشه ای از این دنیاست مسئله معروفیست می که این خاک رهبینی دست سر شهان است马克，你比帝王将相还要聪明。无论偏见与否，你的故事流传至今，而且改变了世界，可见笔的力量比刀更大。was written in 1298. On his return to Venice 20 years later, when he dictated it to a popular writer of romances. Professor Zhao has come to the Bibliotheque Marciana in the Piazza San Marco. <laughs> Professore, questi sono i documenti relativi a Marco Polo. Le mostrerei prima questo. Questo è un manoscritto del metà del Quattrocento. Questa edizione è interessantissima. Perché è il primo esempio, il capostipite, di quella che viene considerata come la redazione veneta del testo Marco Poliano. Il testo di Marco Polo è stato tradotto in tantissime lingue e ogni volta 
il traduttore prima e il trascrittore dopo hanno messo delle cose, hanno aggiunto delle cose oppure ne hanno tolte delle cose. La traduzione era un po' finalizzata a quello che era il committente. Questa comunque, questa prima trascrizione, noi non la conosciamo. L'originale è andato perduto, noi non siamo in grado di sapere dove è finito. Andò decisamente per tutta. Yuanjiyuanwei的马可故事丢了。几千里之外，我确信曾听到他的声音。他向世界介绍了我们，而在这里，几乎一切都毫无踪影。di spazio questo è il testamento originale di Marco Polo the signature of Marco Polo where is the signature no non c'è la firma di Marco Polo perché Marco Polo era, eh, non sapeva scrivere. Il documento viene approvato da Marco Polo con, il sempli, con la semplice apposizione della mano. Così si faceva per le persone analfabete a quel tempo. È tutto scritto di mano del notaio. Sì, yes, only in touch. Meo 中国. Marco Polo's extraordinary journey continues east, where he will encounter the great Kubla Khan and discover the kingdom of women. Let's take a look at China. Es gibt eine Verschiebung der wirtschaftlichen Macht. China in a pangosmios trapezitis. China overtakes the U.S. The world manufactured. America has to live with the China that exists. Is China the future? Professor Zhao is on the trail of the 13th century explorer Marco Polo, whose travels through the Mongol Empire have shaped how the West viewed the East ever since.
，威尼斯塑造了他。威尼斯也许可以告诉我们，他因何而来，为何而去。这个男孩，这个年轻的商人。不过十九岁或二十岁，关于大元帝国和那位一代枭雄，他能告诉我们什么呢？For thousands of miles around, everyone at the time was the subject of the Mongol Empire. This is silk. And this used to be the Silk Road, a route not just for trade, but for ideas and beliefs for thousands of years. Europeans have always compared the search for Eastern riches to the search for paradise. In the markets of Kashgar, Marco Polo has reached the gates of merchant heaven. Questa terra è lo punto di partenza. Da onde tanti mercanti partono per vendere le loro mercantanzie per tutto lo mondo. From the west came perfumes, ivory, precious stones and glassware. From China, silk and spices. Marco Polo follows the path of the Silk Road from town to town. Skirting along the southern rim of the forbidding Taklamakan Desert. Le genti qui vi sono musulmani. Essi vivono di mercantanzia ed arti. Tutto lo necessario per la vita di un uomo è qui, in grandissima abbondanza. As a merchant, Marco Polo is always looking for opportunities to trade. As a young male, he's also looking for other opportunities. Le donne. Esse sono tanto belle. Tanto suadenti. E sempre pronte ad intrattenere. In Venice, Professor Zhao is continuing his quest for Marco Polo, looking for physical evidence of his existence. We know him, but we don't know him. In Venice, no one knows where he went. This should be his home. It is said that the family of Marco Polo has been living here. This is just a conclusion. Now, 老房子已经不复存在。In the east, Marco Polo takes the southern Silk Road. He reaches a dangerous area where many travelers before him have found their death. Tutta questa provincia è una distesa di sabbia. Questa terra sembra che non sia mai stata attraversata da uomo o bestia. Non va né animali né uccelli. Non va niente per loro da mangiare. Vamo cannola. 
，现在是塔格拉玛干，现在说是死亡之海。Archaeologist Idilis Abdul Rusal has been working in the Taklamakan Desert for 30 years. He knows the dangers faced by Marco Polo at first hand. Il deserto è la dimora di molti spiriti maligni. Quando un uomo perde la via, comincia a sentirli parlare. Certe volte chiamano lo suo nome. Little did Marco Polo know that this forbidding place had once been the fertile home to earlier civilizations. In the early 20th century, Western archaeologists discovered evidence for these early settlements. They found ancient cities buried in the sand. The big surprise was that many of these inhabitants turned out to be Indo-Europeans, like Marco Polo himself. Idilis Abdul Rusal has worked here on an archaeological site that was first discovered in 1934, but never excavated until recently. It is a Bronze Age burial site, over 3,000 years old, in the Xinjiang province. It took Idilis years of excavation, but in 2006, he discovered a treasure. It had been under the shifting sands for centuries. So this is a lot of things in this Taklamaka. Ah,非常，死的也非常安详，还带一点微笑，而且他的眼睫毛还是弯的。哎，不知道谁是当时就说了，哦哟，小河公主。The final destination of Marco Polo's journey 
is the court of the Mongol Emperor Kublai Khan. He leaves the Taklamakan Desert behind. His route now turns further east, through Lanzhou and along the Gobi Desert. He eventually makes his way into the heartland of the Mongol Empire. Ironically, this is the safest part of his three-year-long journey. Yoreyue,蒙古人是头脑简单的游牧人,其实他们很讲究实效,他们在征服的江一上鼓励人们从事商业,成为东西商路的保护者。马可波罗特别提到,蒙古帝国立于经商。in his bag, he is carrying oil from the tomb of Jesus and a letter from the Pope requesting an alliance with the Mongol Emperor Kublai Khan. 可是忽必烈汗和他统帅的蒙古人是谁? 欧洲人知之甚少。他们只知道这些马背上的男人攻城略地,一路西来,直指欧洲心脏。Much of the Mongolian grasslands is now part of China. But when Marco Polo came here, it was a different story. The Mongols had just defeated the Chinese and ruled the biggest empire the world had ever seen. Vi conterò ora tutto sui Mongoli, come istituirono il loro impero e come si sparsero per lo mondo. Ora avvenne che nell'anno dell'incarnazione di Cristo, 1187, i mongoli fecero un nuovo re. E il suo nome, nella loro lingua, era Gengis Khan. La moltitudine di mongoli che si radunò dinanzi a lui fu da non credersi. Egli fornì loro di archi e altre armi e diede inizio ad una carriera di conquista. This is Inner Mongolia today. The lifestyle of these Mongols is eerily similar to the scenes which Marco Polo recorded in his book over 700 years ago. The young Venetian man was clearly in awe of these warriors, born from a harshness he had never encountered before. Poscia, quando adunò tale moltitudine di seguaci, decise che voleva conquistare tutto il mondo. Sono robusti, di tutte le genti del mondo. Essi sono i migliori per resistere all'avversità e i migliori per conquistare lo territorio e rovesciare i regni. Then as now, Mongolian boys are trained in the three manly skills: horsemanship, archery, and wrestling. Mongolian wrestling, or boek, means durability. The highest honors in the martial code still goes to the Mongolian wrestlers, men trained to survive, just like in Marco Polo's time.
out on the steppe, there are still Mongols that Marco Polo would recognize today. This is Hoobskalat. His name means revolution. He's well known on the Mongolian grassland as a breeder of fine sheep. And today he'll swap his sheep to fulfill a lifetime's ambition. Il fatto è che il Gran Khan aveva un maschio di stallone bianco, senza neanche una macchia di altro colore. Lo latte di queste giumente non può essere bevuto da nessuno che non sia di famiglia imperiale, vale a dire della stirpe del Gran Khan. Five prize sheep for a horse, and no money changed hands. This is how they have always traded on the grasslands. Ah, I thought I should say, I thought I should say, istruirono i loro cavalli molto bene. Essi fanno manovra liberamente, li fanno ruotare così velocemente come fossero cani. Per codesto motivo possono volteggiare, attaccando il nemico con archi e frecce. Today, in Inner Mongolia, 
there are only a quarter of the horses that there were a generation ago. The grasslands have become China's industrial backyard. It's not the power of the Mongols, but the power of China that can be felt everywhere. Yarın хамгийн баяр чингэлтэй чаг мөч байсан. Marco Polo is about to reach Xanadu and the court of the mighty Mongol emperor Kublai Khan. Venice, once a powerful trading post of the western world. Professor Zhao is on the trail of Marco Polo, the Venetian merchant who traveled east and recorded his journeys for posterity. But Marco Polo was not just a merchant. He has a mission from the Pope. To deliver a letter to the Mongol emperor asking for a political alliance. Marco Polo has traveled for three years without ever leaving Mongol territory. Now he approaches the heart of it, the court of Kublai Khan, the grandson of the all-conquering Genghis Khan, the most powerful man in Marco Polo's time. La parola Khan significa lo grande signore dei signori ed aveva ogni ben diritto a tale titolo. Che sia di terre o di tesori, il Gran Khan è il più possente che mai fu esistito. Dai tempi di Adamo infino al dia d'oggi. E di questo mostrerò ragione. Xanadu. All that remains of the marble palace, the temples, the beautiful park and the pleasure dome, the fabulous city of Kublai Khan. Through these gates, emissaries and ambassadors arrived from all over the world, past the Khan's personal guard of 12,000 horsemen. Hubilehan, Ci prostrammo al suolo. Ci diede ordine di alzarci. Egli ci ascoltò in silenzio. Ricevette l'olio del sacro sepolcro e ordinò che venisse custodito. Egli mi accolse e mi ammise alla sua onorevole presenza. Buongiorno, professor Ciao. Sono facciato presente al vice direttore. Se vuole la accompagno a vedere gli altri documenti di Marco Polo. Thank you. Giusci, Jesu, Yu Hubile Han de Hui Mien. Sao Giulia, Woman Sua, Giulia, Marco Polo. 
Sicuramente è la prima volta un uomo eh, occidentale e non un, un aristocratico, non un condottiero, non un, un leader di una nazione, incontra eh, il più importante e il più temuto e il, il principale uomo politico al mondo in quel momento. Eh, ciò che eh, Marco Polo pensa di Kubilai Khan è sempre, è sempre buono. Marco Polo non è un colonizzatore aggressivo, rapace. Dahan e Jiao Huang Butong. Tabu Xiao Ren Ren Gui Shun. E Buhui Cheng Fa Yi Jiao Tu. Jiang Marco Han Chin Pei. Holai de Ojo Ren. Dai Jiang Marco de Shu Er Lai. Chue Zi Shi Gao Ren Yi Dang. The meeting in Xanadu is a game changer. Marco Polo arrives as an envoy of the West. But Kublai Khan rejects an alliance with the Pope and instead he hires Marco Polo for himself. Marco Polo is to report to him from the newly conquered parts of his own empire. When I started my mission, I decided to note everything strange that I had seen, so I could say to the Grand Khan. The Khan gives him a golden pass to use the imperial postal system, the fastest and biggest communications network until the coming of the motor car. Portai con me tantissime meraviglie strane e ciò piacque al Sire enormemente. Handuo Ojo Ren Sermu Ren Ho Marco Polo Yang, Wei Hubile Han Xiao Li. Vedetti come il Gran Khan chiamava altri messaggeri folli e stolti, perché avrebbe preferito sapere di usanze di terre esotiche che avevano visitato. Marco Polo è sent first to a region close to the Emperor's heart, in the territory of his first conquest so remote that it is called Yunnan, beyond the clouds. Per venti die viaggiai per terre disabitate, in cui una vasta moltitudine di bestie selvatiche errava. There are still people today who travel through the mountains of Yunnan in the same manner as Marco Polo did on the horse caravans. It was and still is a tough male world, but Gadana, the guide, is an exception. <laughs> Wei Shan stands at the crossroads of ancient Sultan tea routes to Tibet. Such towns were staging posts for the vast Mongol caravans that carried goods, soldiers, information, and Marco Polo across the empire. There is still a hint of the heyday of the horse caravans. Marco Polo would have seen horse caravan hostels like Mother Me's. She was still running it until the 1980s. Sanjau, Zayis Tifu, Li 
手不你那白钱，你偷你的水壶，为时尚小，请记平安。时间未到，我向你们注意。La provincia è di immensa grandezza. I nati sono o briganti o idolatri, per la quale cagione il passaggio vi era pericoloso. <laughs> Time has stood still in this part of the world. The horse caravans are as close to the world Marco Polo described to Kublai Khan as it is possible to find today. And the tales they tell are no doubt the same too. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 吹大烟啊，是是是，前进来今天我们吹不好。我这点打伤嘛，当时别是打来打嘛。啊，来看到俺弟那边来打架就你些，你那边来在打架，老你些打架得你些，那那不是，这个肉得硬不是啦，肉强大。那你那边来强一个的。阿拉阿拉的肉肉等于打，吃那肉肉白了，阿妈阿妈露起打不是？哎呀，我们我说过你了嘛，米厂里来追兵嘛，他他他他喜欢我这个儿子嘛，那个娃娃也爱，一天干
Lake Lugu, the ancient home of the Masuo people. On their sacred mountain, any traveler's desire for an exotic story could be fulfilled. This is the kingdom of women, and women do things differently. Marco Polo never hid from his readers his fascination with women, and no doubt he thought Kublai Khan would enjoy the strange customs too. Perhaps even stranger, this way of life survives today on the edge of the Tibetan plateau. Megasin 吃了一年,吃了一年,吃了一年,吃了一年,吃了一年,吃了一年,吃了一年,吃了一年,吃了一年,吃了一年,吃了一年,吃了一年,吃了一年,吃了一年,吃了一年,吃了一年,吃了一
，所以的话，舅舅承担了其他民族的父亲的那个位置。嗯，这是我祖先，就是啊，我姥姥的妈妈那些，就是我们祖我们家祖先全部都带过，然后传到我们这一辈，希望我们这一辈就是平平安安的，然后幸幸福福的。今天穿今天穿黑毛衣，天乌木。天黄可别说都热，别嘛，那么就在那边，那个白天老早的茶几的茶房可别说都热，别嘛。因为他这个以经济这个东西，对这个摩梭文化的冲击是非常大。那么现在我们现在退休，我们现在退休的人是非常着急的，也担心这个把文化史传掉。然后积极的在搞，呃，摩梭的这个呃原始的这个呃民歌收集、音乐收集，尽可能的留下痕迹。Of the lunar calendar. For 700 years before Marco Polo, and the 700 years since, the Masuos have honored the goddess of love and beauty. Thank you. 就是传统的文化都没有了，会感到后悔吗？反正社会在变化嘛，然后虽然要继承这样的文化，但是还是要试着生存。强者生存，真的吗？何谓强者？何谓长久？蒙古帝国曾经君临世界，威尼斯如今挣扎着不沉于海底，而马可·波罗留下了一种永不褪色的回忆。Marco Polo's mission is not finished yet. He travels on to Beijing, the glorious new capital of the Mongol Empire. His journey continues.
Let's take a look at China. Es gibt eine Verschiebung der wirtschaftlichen Macht. China in a paragosmios trapezitis. China overtakes the US. America has to live with the China that exists. Ist China die Zukunft? Big boost for China's space program, which saw the launch of its first lunar probe. China's space program is trying to take on America and win. We're told its ambitions stretch as far as you can imagine, and it, it's a huge amount of national prestige involved. Now, let's relive the history. 马可·波罗七百多年前来到中国时，他发现这里无与伦比。今天你也许会想，一切是否在重演？甚至任何事物都有代价，但这意味着放弃过去吗？星下山是东方有七个序，南方有七个序。西方有七个星序，北方有七个星序。二十八系这个转一圈啊，是一年四季。《易经》这本书呢，中华民族的最高智慧，一个哲学的一本书。变成了一个禅师的尸体。Ora dirò vi tutto sulla grande città di Kambaluk e come e perché venne costruita. When Marco Polo arrived in the 1270s, the new city was still being built. Kublai Khan, the supreme ruler of all the Mongols, had set up the Yuan dynasty. Beijing would now be capital of his newly conquered Chinese Empire. This new city is immediately immense and in a form perfectly squared. It is planned as a mountain, with a degree of beauty and precision that is impossible to describe. There was more to Beijing than met the eye. For his new Chinese subjects, there was a carefully coded message from Kublai Khan. The city plan was not Mongolian, it was Chinese. The Mongol Khan intended to rule like a Chinese emperor, honoring the ancient beliefs and traditions of the oldest civilization on earth. <laughs> 对生命本源，就要反映在这个国土城市上面，以这个大自然的基本法则来安排我们的这个这个城市。它北北面是代表冬季，这个东面是代表春季。
，南面是代表夏季，西面是代表秋季。这个中轴线呢，在南面的中轴线是代表阳，在北面的中轴线是代表阴。Yin and Yang, Sun and Moon, Man and Nature, Life and Death. The cardinal forces of the universe ran like a thread through the heart of Beijing, across Tiananmen Square, through the throne of the Forbidden Palace. The central axis was the dragon's vein, a symbol that the emperor ruled from the very center of the earth. A Marco Polo's Beijing. Became a rich and storied city, expanded and renewed by one dynasty after another, adding layers of history. But it retained its shape and essence. The Sir Marco Polo, he never read any Chinese literature, but he saw this city, saw it so vibrant, saw it so harmonious, and it affected his mind. 这个心灵受到很大的震撼。La città è molto ben costruita. Che ognuno uomo nel mondo poteva immaginare miglior progetto o esecuzione. Not everyone agreed with Marco Polo's verdict on the unimprovable Chinese city. For many Mongols, it was too Chinese for a nomad people. But the Chinese took their conqueror's creation to their hearts, and for 700 years, it remained a living emblem of everything Chinese. Since 1949, the People's Republic has sought to remove everything that had held China back. The past had become the enemy of the future. Since the 1990s, nothing in history. Has matched the speed and scale of Beijing's transformation. Over 85% of its buildings were cleared to make way for a new age. Just as in the time of Kublai Khan, a new Beijing is being built, and it is sending out the same message. A new power is marching to the center of the world stage. In Beijing, we create history. In Venice, they create history. In this place, everything is a long story. Marco, where are you? Who is behind? You是威尼斯的代言人。那曾经充满魅力和实力的威尼斯。古老的利亚尔托在时光流逝中改头换面。你曾经的木屋已经被石器小楼取代。我想，你应该最清楚。沉湎于历史，不是上策。Dr. Wu Chen is one of China's leading architects. 这边呢，就是最重要的。
最重要的这个天安门广场了。再往北呢是这个呃紫禁城。那么，呃，目前所进行的这个施工呢，呃，可以看到呢，让它恢复到北京这个最盛世的一个一个情况。Beijing has been transformed in a generation, but the scale and ambition of Wu Chen's projects show that the city is still a work in progress. 接着，这个 CBD 的一个目标呢，就是为了配合北京的这个世界城市的一个理想。像这个伦敦，或者说像纽约，完了，一年一年就开花结果。你天天你不管它，它精神不起来。使那个没有污染的土，这个我跟这屋里的话都住四五十年了。Mr. Zhao is old Beijing. He lives in a hutong, one of Beijing's fast shrinking old neighborhoods, some of which date back to the days of Marco Polo. Mr. Zhao is a good citizen. He will not stand in the way of history, but he hopes that when history comes knocking at his door, she will treat him kindly. 还勾着没间房，上头能养花，这是我的梦想但是这些东西呢，不能来回搬家。搁到哪儿了，适应了，这棵花起来了，别动它了。今天搬这儿，那天明天搬这儿，他就得死。目前呢，这个建筑的高度呢，大概是五百二十米左右，一共呢是一百米八层。那我们选用了呃中国传统的这个礼器当中尊的一个一个形象，那么像一个人承接着天上的一个恩泽。将来是一个非常闪光的一个城市的一个一个标志物，非常非常的担心。如果是风水这个城城市规划错误，这个城市就是一个混乱的城市。很难得的一个情况是这么一种超高层的这个建筑啊，能够跟中国的传统文化这么完美的一个结合。这个北京，它的辉煌的面貌不复存在了。嗯嗯、但是，它的根脉，北京城还活在，那古老的北京城还活在人民的心目当中。进入现代世界并不容易。我们曾认为现代化就是西化，我们是否在丢弃我们的本色呢？也许我们没有明白，马可·波罗的威尼斯数百年来变化和坚守的秘密。Marco Polo had been to Yunnan and Tibet. He was appointed Kublai Khan's envoy to every corner of the new empire. Now he set out again. 
this time into the heartlands of China. The route took him south, through Kangzhou and Dezhou, across the Yellow River, towards Manji, the last stronghold of the Chinese Song dynasty, only recently taken by Kublai Khan's Mongol army. You没有意识到，你后面的发现将让你名传千古。那是一个古老但却未被知晓的文明。你的所见所闻将被视为天方夜谭。你似乎发现了外星人，但你从此让所有人。The route into this new and undiscovered world astonished Marco Polo. He traveled on a huge waterway that Kublai Khan had opened up to ship grain to his new capital, Beijing. Marco Polo was the first European to record the Grand Canal. Lo Gran Khan fece costruire questo canale, un enorme canale di grande larghezza e profondità, e vi fece scorrere l'acqua come fosse un grande fiume. Commerce on a vast scale, and on its banks, the smoky signs of a startlingly advanced civilization. Per tutta la provincia del Katai va come una pietra nera. Europeans at the time knew nothing about coal. Queste pietre tengono il fuoco meglio del legno. It's the sheer scale of this endeavor that amazes Marco Polo. Sa fatte fare fosse larghe per grandissime navi, da l'un fiume all'altro e da l'un lago all'altro. Venetians thought they knew about canals, but this was the longest man-made waterway in the world. 1,800 kilometers long and built more than 600 years before Kublai Khan by the Chinese. Nanshin的人丁不够,他把一些妇女儿童也抓去,啊,这个,带了这个苦力,所以累积的应该有四百多万的民工。死亡数字非常惊人。付出的代价非常大的。他运河,呃,虽然很残暴,啊,付出这么
where rulers with absolute power will stop at nothing to force nature into obedience. They did it with the Great Wall and the Grand Canal. Today, they're doing it again. The North-South Water Reversal Project tunnels for 3.5 kilometers under the Yellow River, 40 meters above. Marco Polo Kublai Khan needed the Grand Canal to feed Beijing. This new Grand Canal is to stop Beijing dying of thirst. Astonishingly, the capital and surrounding regions with their 200 million inhabitants are living in what is in effect a desert. Soon, water moving north through these tunnels will outmatch anything ever attempted before. Three gigantic waterways, 3,000 kilometers of canals and tunnels, will transfer 36 billion cubic meters of water a year from the Yangtze River Basin in the south and channel it north. Jangjing 这是威尼斯运河，一切不言而喻。中国在修建一条崭新的大运河，这里谁会想去建造一座威尼斯新城呢？ The young Venetian merchant Marco Polo has been traveling the Mongol Empire for six years. He has now reached China, the new heartland of this empire. And journeying down the Grand Canal, he discovers a city which to him is even more sophisticated than his hometown Venice, Hangzhou. Vi conterò, così com'è in verità, così come io, io, Messere Marco Polo, la vidi chiaramente come i occhi. The West Lake in the heart of Hangzhou a lake that is almost a sacred hold on the Chinese imagination. For nearly 2,000 years, the poets, painters, and storytellers who've been inspired by the West Lake have mapped the soul of China. To
Una storia dice aver 12.000 ponti, per lo più fatti di pietra. Perché, or vi dico, che questa città è tutta cerchiata d'acqua, come Vinegia. But Venice didn't invent the compass. Venice didn't give us the printing press. Venice did not use paper money. Hangzhou's sophistication eclipsed anything Marco had ever seen. The Chinese Mandarin elite, no longer in charge, seized new opportunities presented to them. So when Marco Polo arrived, he found Hangzhou in the midst of its very own renaissance. Sullo stesso lago, un'infinita sequenza di questo anti di piacere. Però le genti in questa città non pensano ad altro che trascorrere parte del die con le loro donzelle ed aver sollazzo. Perché le loro opinioni e pensieri si concentrano su nient'altro che i piaceri della società. Uomen che siano Marco Polo de Sinchen. Siamo u Gidu Giorgi. Hansian Rongru Chijong. Avi così tanti mercatanti e così ricchi. Essi fanno co tanto commercio che niuno può descriverlo. Essi vivono come li re e li baroni. For Marco Polo, it seemed the streets of Hangzhou were paved with gold. Anyone could get rich here. Our family is in the village. Our family is a little rich. There Le ricchezze che producono sono ben oltre il novero. La reddita solo della seta monta ad una somma di denari così grande che è cosa da non credersi. Tutto intorno al lago e si han fatti dei bei palagi e così quando qualche buon uomo gentile vuol far da nozze e convito egli va in uno di questi palagi ed essi fanno le nozze e i loro festeggiamenti. Only the water of the lake separates Hong and her fiancé Sia from the island Marco Polo wrote about, 
full of the ghosts of ancient weddings. Marco 彩面的目光。彩面的目光。彩面的目光。彩面的目光。彩面的目光。彩面的目光。彩面的目光。彩面的目光。彩面的目光。彩面的目光。彩面的目光。彩面的目光。彩面的目光。彩面的目光。彩
the poor boy from the country who is turning himself into a millionaire. This is our different customers' lighting. This is like this. This is from England. 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 这迪士尼量比较大，来跟我们合作。这里看是迪士尼俄国公司的，这个像做成一个爱心形状的，发到了九十多个国家，然后销量一年能卖一千多万只吧。可以说，人类已经无法阻止孔明灯的放飞了，在全世界，这孔明灯都升起来了。Yu Peng Fei is a young e-commerce merchant. 我那个启动的时候就只有几百块钱，做了一年就赚到了五六百万块钱，第二年就有一千多万，然后第三年就两千多万，赚一百万在上面很容易啊。那个你看奔驰、宝马、便利跑，最起码。让五十万人变成了百万富翁。阿里巴巴造就了非常多的百万富翁。阿里巴巴它就是一个采购商的全球网站。就相当于一个一个一个一个无边界的市场，你在里面找什么都找得到。他让很多失业的人，很多甚至残疾的人，很多大学刚毕业一无所有的人，能够实现他的梦想，能够在那里赚到第一桶金。And each new bucket of gold is celebrated. 哎，王总。This is Alibaba's anonymous global headquarters. It could be anywhere in the world. Alibaba connects manufacturers and merchants from China with the rest of the world. It has changed people's lives. It has revolutionized how China trades with the West. The brains behind it is Jack Ma. Thirteen years ago, he explained his plans for a new internet trading company to his friends. Today, everyone in this photograph is a billionaire. Alibaba is huge, an international internet trading company, bigger than eBay and Amazon combined. For Chinese businesses, it's a gateway to the world. Ribadisco che ogni cosa appartenente a questa città è di grandi dimensioni. La reddita annuale è così grande e sembra così incredibile per chi il sente dire. Se noi siamo un buon team, un buon team, siamo sicuri che sappiamo cosa vogliamo fare, cosa vogliamo fare, cosa vogliamo fare, credo che siamo in grado di fare qualcosa.
，我们和他们。这些面具在马可·波罗的幼年才第一次出现。那个时代，欧洲有无限美好的未来。如今，威尼斯传统依旧，但这是否意味着它就没有未来呢？也许，这就是面具的用途，用来掩盖这样一个残酷的事实：昨天已经沉寂，明天。一无所有。我想起来，未来啊，安安稳稳过日子吧。<笑>就希望他。多听点话，然后乖一点。听谁的话？听我的话。啊、哦，好吧。最重要的就是那个，那个怎么说来着？那个，忠贞不渝。永不出轨是吧？还要永不出轨。<笑>联姻的婚宴马上就要开始了。The only element left of a traditional Chinese wedding is the husband's bow. 不难看出西式婚礼的诱惑，每个人都乐在其中。马可·波罗还会认出这样的杭州吗？还有多久留下的将只有往昔的幻影？一个消失的天堂。今天很残酷，明天更残酷，后天很美好。绝大部分的人死在明天晚上，看不到后天的太阳。阿里人必须看到后天的太阳。The scale of China's future ambition can be gleaned from the Alibaba control room, which monitors every deal that's struck, every second, every day. 他回到家，娶了一位娇妻，然后写下这本游记。他没有想到。
这本书会感染人们，去征服未知世界。哥伦布就是带着他发现了新大陆。Qui finisce il libro di Messer Marco Polo e credo che lo mio salvo ritorno fosse piacere di Dio. A ciò che le cose che sono per lo mondo si potessero sapere. Venice's Empire of Wonder is already sold. The West shines the sunlight. A renewed China will attract the new generation of Marco Polo. They will bring us what kind of story? The whole thing will be proven by time.